What's up, Idris? What's up, Lodsta? My left leg hurts from walking. We'll bring on Lobster. I'm doing. Sitting in my wall at Walmart. Got my spot. No, that's good. That's good, bro. Anyways, you got any questions? <laughs> I can't hear. I can't hear you. What songs I like? I listen to pretty much everything. Anything. Uh, you know, I listen to pretty much everything. Martin, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. I've been a fan of yours for a while. Nice, thanks. <laughs> what is the secret to happiness? Sadness. <laughs> Can't have light without the dark. Well, I mean, how do you know what happy is? I mean, what what is happiness? The opposite of sad. Yeah. How would you how would you know that if you ain't never been sad? Exactly. Now, if you've never been sad, if you've never been sad, you would never know how to be happy. And that's where they, they, they do those uh, uh, cinematography where, you know, like Plainsville, where the people are black and white. Right? They have no color in their life. Black and white. That is emotionless. Your life is colorless. Right? You don't know what happy is because you don't know what sad is. Right. That's absolutely right. You can't, you can't have, like... Cold is the absence of heat. So, pretty much the same reasoning there. Yeah. I'm going to get a coffee. Get one. What flavor are you in the cafe. I usually get a large black coffee. I don't ever get any coffee. flavors. Unless unless I'm at Starbucks and I get a caramel macchiato or I go to, um, yeah, with my wife. Right? If, if my wife's with me, then I have sugar. Yeah. It's like <laughs> a large yeah, black coffee, man. You know, I have a camera macchiato, please. <laughs> oh, you're getting coffee, too? Yeah, yeah, order me one. Yeah, yeah, nice. You're over in uh, Washington, I think. Yeah, you can uh, yeah. send it to me. Send it to me through mail. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll Uber it to you. Oh, uh, that's I got. Be really Thank you. You think so? I don't think it. I don't. I don't think it will. I don't think it would be. I got. I'm on the shoe. opposite. I'm on the complete opposite end of you. I'm all, all the way in the east coast. Well, if I if I was going to send something to you that was going to be very expensive on the opposite side of the coast, I I would tap a a a, a service member who's still active. Yeah. And, and um, you know, get 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 an extra seat in the back of a. Of an empty building, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean. So I, I've been wanting to ask you. I, I, I've been following you for a while. I've been wanting to ask you. So what's the deal uh, with uh, all the light? Um, uh, your 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 Instagram posts. There's a lot of light. A lot of blinding light. Um, you mention light a lot. Um, but the, so. The, the, so uh, the, the the top of spirituality, Buddhism and things like that, they have this seven called rainbow body or a body of light that creates you in its image, gives you your daily bread, turns water into wine, cures a leper. It, it, it sits in the bow of a cloud behind the sun or in front of the sun in the sky. Um, the Bible tells you you can see Jesus in all of his glory 
in the bow of a cloud at the right hand of the Father, or the sun in the sky. Turn water into wine, cure leper, give you daily bread and last supper. The Viking gods, you can see the Viking gods in the bow of a cloud. Valhalla, the vault of Allah, in front of the sun or behind the sun. They turn water into wine, they cure leper, they give you daily bread. The Native American Great Spirit, you can see it behind the sun, in front of the sun. Then you go, okay, every one of you guys' religions and spiritualities tell me to look in those same spots. And allegedly, allegedly, there's a hue, a shade of light in the shape of a man, a hue man with a head, a torso, two arms, and two legs, and a hue woman. And since they're made of light, they don't ex they don't exist inside of time, meaning they were there before the earth was created. They'll be there after the earth was created, falls apart and destroys. They were there before the sun was created. The light from the sun allows us, because of its glare, cancel out things to see basically the heart of the electromagnetic spectrum. So the light that makes you, the light that makes me, the light that makes all life on earth and all matter has a shape, and it looks just like us. Wow. Now, go, they tell you it's too bright for uh, the non-divine, the non-spiritual to see with their naked eye, which is fascinating to me that, 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 that um, people can't see it. So I, I try to help people see, like, you know, they, they tell you there's a body of light Christian and you sit in the boat of cloud. They turn water into wine. I can, I can teach you how to see it, and then you can go, you know what, Martin, last week I saw it turn water into wine. The other day, I watched that walk on water, Martin, just like it said in the book. This is Martin, I was reading the Bible, and then we went out and let invisible footprints on the beach. Say, Martin, literally, I, I, I watched it when it said cure leper. I saw how it, how it literally it concentrated light out of one hand, and if I had a leper walk under it, that wavelength of light and science kills the bacteria that creates leprosy. Curing a leper, all I would have to do is stand in its glory. There's a body of light. It turned water, and you know what? It sacrificed itself on a cross over from that light body into everything I need to create me. I mean, it really did sacrifice itself on a cross. Not like I was told, but it did happen. But it did happen. Yeah. So you think, like, Jesus is an analogy of the sun, basically. Well, no, I guess so. No, right now, G, you know, we have... Where did you get that name from in, in real life or English? Babel. What is Babel? Taking other words and, and, and combining them to mean something. Well, Jesus is an English name. It's not even Hebrew. It's English. G is us. Who is us? Well, according to uh, 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 Viking mythology, I can see the Viking gods in that same spot that Jesus sits. G is us. It's the Viking god. But the seven-colored rainbow body. G is us. It's also that seven-colored rainbow body. Remember the Greek gods. I can climb Mount Olympus. Right to the bow of a cloud, and I can see the Greek gods from Mount Olympus turn water into wine, cure leper, give me my daily bread and awesome, lasso in the same spot as Jesus. But in Judaism, I can see Yahweh there. In Islam, I can see their messengers there. Now, are they all taking turns? Is there really a bunch of different ones taking turns, or is it just one that's real? And you actually don't have the capabilities to see it with your naked eye, so people take advantage of you because you don't know if you can't see it with your naked eye. Uh, the first like index of the Bible said you had to create a device so you could see it. Like the very first page of the Bible says, don't forget your monstrous tabernacle or sun disk. They're very important to understanding the parables of this book because you won't be able to see what they're talking about. I think that's fascinating. That, like you, you have a religion where you, everybody could see a body of light turn water into wine. Like the miracle, like, and it's been happening since the beginning of humanity. It'll happen after we're gone. Like everybody could see that, and you guys are like, I make I make a lot of money every Sunday if they don't know if they don't get to see it. When, when are you when are you going on the uh, Joe Rogan podcast? I'm not, but I gotta go. My wife just walked up. You have a great All day. Right. God bless. Are right, you too?